Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I am going to measure a new 4G, 5G small, uh, small cell, a small wireless telecommunications facility at a client's home. Uh, so this client was um, out of town for about three days several months ago and she came home to this on her property right there so I came and measured it several uh, months ago to see what the measurements were before it was on and now I'm going to measure it uh, with the antenna actually turned on and so just um, kind of going up and down the street I'm gonna do that just to get some measurements outside and then we'll get some measurements inside so I'm gonna use my safe and sound pro 2 here and uh, to get my measurements and I'm sorry about the flicker on the screen for some reason it does that uh, when we're in some Sun if I get into the shade it might be a little bit better but otherwise I'll just tell you what the readings are that we get and so I'm gonna turn on the sound now and that sounds on low if I turn the sound on high you can clearly hear it uh, so right here about 30, 20, 30 yards away, I'm getting about 5,000 to 3,000. Uh, a little bit higher there, 5,590. As I go up and down the street, this number is going to change. And obviously, when I go inside, it's going to change as well. All right, so as I walk away, it's getting much higher. I'm between 8 and 11,000. I know that you can't see the screen very well, but as I'm walking away, I'm getting into the angle a little bit more, so it's increasing. Okay, in the front living room, we're getting around, uh, around a thousand, roughly, microwatts per square meter. You can certainly hear it. So I'm back away from the front, and I, as I get higher, my numbers increase to about, I'm about 5,000. As I drop down, well, it's about the same. 200. Well, it's fluctuating between about 1,500 to 5,800. It's a lot of fluctuation. All right, in the backyard, I'm between, oh, 300 to 1,900. It actually sounds lower. So, so that kind of makes sense because we're being blocked by some of the building materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want to give you kind of my overall impression of the readings that I got here. To be honest, I expected them to be significantly higher given the proximity of that antenna. Uh, it's, you know, it's on this person's property. Um, I was hoping that there would be kind of an umbrella effect from the antenna um, so that the because of the height that the antennas on the top might actually kind of skim over the top of the roof. And we are experiencing that to some degree. Um, you know, I was getting in the thousands um, in the uh, in the bedrooms in the front of the house, a thousand to two thousand microwatts per square meter. That is significantly higher than we want. Uh, our goal is to be under ten microwatts per square meter in the bedrooms. Um, so obviously, that's much higher. However, it could have been in the you know, three digit, six digits range, um, easily could have been in the six digit range. So I'm grateful that it was low as it is. Uh, but of course I still want the homeowner to do some shielding. If this were my home, I would either paint, I would do some window film or some window screen, and I would likely get a bed canopy so that I could get that number, um, much lower than it is. Now, as I walked down the street, the numbers went up significantly. As I got around the corner, 
Um, I was getting 11 to 12,000 microwatts per square meter. So as I walked away from the antenna, the number increased because I'm getting into the angle, right? Um, so the antenna uh, on the top of the pole is going to have, it's going to be angled out. So as I got away from it a, a little bit further of a distance, that number increased. So the houses that are three, four houses away are actually going to have uh, the biggest impact from that antenna. And that's going to be in the, you know, 12, 13, maybe 14,000 microwatts per square meter range. So that is what's going on with this antenna. Um, every single situation is going to be very different. So if you've got something like this near you, this isn't going to be what's going on in your specific situation. You have to test to figure it out. Uh, because all the antennas are wired differently, they have different power outputs, uh, different antennas, all kinds of different specifications. So this is uh, what's happening here uh, in Boise, Idaho, and um, like I said, every situation is different, so you always want to test uh, your specific situation. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them below. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you have. And of course, if you found this helpful, please subscribe and hit that like button so that uh, we can get this information out to more people. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.